Imagine a person, blind since birth, who has learned by their touch to distinguish between a cube and a sphere. Imagine that this person has their eyesight suddenly restored and the same cube and sphere placed in front of them. Could they, just by looking at the two objects, tell which one is the cube and which is the sphere? This is Molyneux's question. First proposed in 1688, it has divided philosophers and scientists for the last 300 years and is often considered as one of philosophy's unanswered questions. But with modern science able to cure some cases of congenital blindness, does Molyneux's question now have a definitive answer? Let's find out. William Molyneux first presented his question to the philosopher John Locke, who included it in the second edition of his essay concerning human understanding. Locke's response was a resounding no. The previously blind man would not be able to say at first sight which was the cube and which was the sphere. Many of the time's greatest thinkers joined the debate, including Leibniz, Berkeley, Voltaire, Diderot and Thomas Reed. Responses to the problem can be broadly placed into two categories the rationalists and the empiricists. In epistemology, rationalism and empiricism are opposing viewpoints on how we gain knowledge. For the rationalist, knowledge comes from our ability to reason, from our logic and intuition or our rational nature. Empiricists, on the other hand, believe that we gain knowledge by observing the world through our sense experiences. You can, of course, be both an empiricist and a rationalist, but people tend to favour or emphasise one over the other. For Molyneux's question, empiricists such as Locke and Berkeley believe that a person seeing for the first time would not be able to tell which was the cube and which was the sphere. For Locke, people were born as blank slates with no innate knowledge. Likewise, Berkeley argued that our haptic experiences help teach our visual system how to interpret visual cues to the three-dimensional structures in front of us. The rationalist Leibniz, however, thought that the formerly blind person would be able to understand features such as roundness and sharp edges are the same in our touch and visual sense by using their logical and geometrical reasoning. On balance, the empiricist's negative answer became the most popular and was further supported when in 1728, the surgeon William Cheseldon published a report of a successful cataract operation on a young boy. Cheseldon reported that following the operation, the boy could not distinguish objects from one another and had to learn such concepts. For many, Molyneux's question was no longer a thought experiment, but now had a conclusive answer. Some, however, criticized Cheseldon's report, arguing that the boy's eyes had not fully recovered from the operation or that there were other influencing factors, such as the patient's intelligence. So what about more modern reports? Cases of curable congenital blindness in adults are rare, as the majority of cases are detected and treated in infancy. However, it is more common in developing countries where medical treatment is less accessible. A study by Richard Held studied five participants ranging from ages eight to 17, before and after cataract removal surgery. Within 48 hours of their surgery, the participants were presented with an object, either by touch or visually. They were then asked to pick out that same object when presented with it again, along with another different object. The results showed that the participants were able to pick out the original object the majority of the time, when it was presented in the same way. But when the object was first presented by touch, and then visually, the ability to pick out the original object dropped dramatically to 58% only slightly above the level of chance. Two of the participants were tested again within seven days and one participant five months later. Even after just seven days, the touch to vision score improved dramatically. These results led the researchers to conclude that the newly sighted participants did not show an immediate transfer of their tactile shaped knowledge to the visual domain, but that it can be acquired after only a short time of real world experiences. Therefore, Molyneux's question should be answered with a no, agreeing with the empiricist's viewpoint. This seems fairly conclusive, but some have argued that these studies ignore the fact that recovery from cataract surgery takes time and the healing process is gradual. 
This, along with the fact that participants are experiencing vision for the first time, have led some to argue that Molyneux's question can only ever be considered as a thought experiment, at least until technology progresses to allow instantaneous eyesight recovery. <gasps> but what do you think? Are you with the empiricists or the rationalists? And do you think the cataract surgery studies have finally answered one of philosophy's unanswered questions? Let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe. You can watch my previous video on subliminal messages here, or you can watch the more philosophy videos by clicking here. See you next time.